Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Thursday, May 9th, 2024. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. Rookie minicamp starts today, and one of those rookies, Dominic Pooney, hasn't been getting as much hype and love as the others in this class. Well, maybe we can change that a little bit because Pooney was a guest of Kay Adams on her show, Up and Adams. And she asked basically the question that I think we all should want to hear. Dominic Pooney, why is guard the best spot for you this season? When I played guard in 22, it just felt, I felt really comfortable at guard, um, felt comfortable inside. It was the first year I played it and I did pretty well. So, I mean, the transition wasn't, wasn't too crazy for me. And, um, you know, the 49ers, they got a hell of an old line. So, um, obviously, they got Trent Williams on left tackle. So, he's, he's definitely mm-hmm. the best left tackle in the NFL. So, um, I mean, moving me in the guard, I have no problem with. Um, even playing center, I have no problem with. So, I mean, wherever I can help the team is wherever I'll play. How do you not love that answer, right? It's all about the team right now, which is fantastic because there's a variety of spots on the interior offensive line where Dominic Pooney can help. He seemed like a very chill very laid back guy in the interview, yet still like a quiet confidence about him that I kind of liked. He also apparently did not realize the fan base that he was gaining once the 49ers drafted him. Here's what took Pooney's surprise about Niners fans. How much love they've shown. Um, I, I mean, I, I wasn't like really, I've never been close to Cali. I grew up in St. Louis my whole life. So, I mean, I, I didn't know how deep the 49ers faithful was, but I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, just kind of social media wise, how much love I've been getting. Um, it, it's really cool to see. You have a chance to be beloved in San Francisco, Dominic Pooney. Just don't go rogue on the biggest play in the Super Bowl, and you'll probably never have to buy another drink a day in your life. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Thursday, Tim Kawakami has a mailbag column in The Athletic that is heavily 49ers focused, including why John Lynch got very prickly when Tim asked him a question about Adam Peters. If you want to read it, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch. Brock Purdy and Jordan Love. Remember when I told you Michelle was going to debate a Packers content creator about who was the better quarterback? Well, it happened, and it did not go well for Zach. If you want to see a dead body, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing you may have missed, Joe Alt was the fifth overall pick in the draft. He went to Jim Harbaugh's Los Angeles Chargers. He was asked what three edge rushers he's most excited to face in the NFL. His response, TJ Watt, Miles Garrett, and Nick Bosa. Now, if all's going to get his wish, it's going to have to happen either in the preseason or the Super Bowl because the Niners don't play the Chargers this year. Let's hope it's the Super Bowl, of course, and I'm sure Nick Bosa would be happy to show Joe Alt a thing or two. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and five. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell so you'll get notified every single time we go live, which is just about every single weekday for you. Levin had a work thing, so we actually had to tape the show. So today is not one of those days that we go live, but normally we're live every single weekday. But I will post that podcast. I did do a show with Levin, so that will be up later today as well. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.